Yes, you crazy mother... Visionaries and potential soul visionaries out there. I am your host, Gerard Corner. You are now rocking with the mobile version of the Soul Vision Powercast. You know that place where we keep it mm, unfiltered and raw. We talk about anything from going to politics. We'll even talk about the things you might have heard or even saw. Today, I want to ask a question. If Trump was as racist as you guys claim, why would he sign an abortion ban to stop y'all from killing the black babies that Margaret Sanger wanted y'all to kill in the first place when she gave y'all Planned Parenthood? Why would he want to stop that? Why? If he's a racist, he want to wipe us out, you know, just like Margaret Sanger in the eugenics, the, uh, the eugenics movement. You know, why would he stop that? What rights will he take from you guys? You keep y'all keep saying he's going to take away your rights. He's going to monitor your periods and all this, all this, a lot of crazy shit. He's just going to have women just plugged up to a machine and just monitor their thoughts, their movements, their feelings, everything. You know, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You all will be able to kill the babies, y'all, mistakenly had with the wrong man y'all didn't mistakenly have him anyway you know because you chose to sleep with a dude that you don't really like got pregnant and he was fucking wrong but why live in fear y'all lost the election you know y'all living in fear but you didn't you wasn't afraid of mandated vaccines that weren't properly tested weren't afraid of Joe Biden and his administration administration with the censorship of your speech. You weren't afraid of Kamala, 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 whatever the fuck her name is. It don't matter now. But she was going to come for, for folks' guns and take you, you know, you, your protections away from you. You weren't afraid of the high prices, gas, groceries. You weren't afraid of any of the bad things that went on in their administration. You weren't afraid of Joe Biden and his 94 crime bill when he decimated the black community with his bullshit. You weren't afraid of Kamala when she was fucking black people over in, in California. Y'all want to deny all their past past wrongdoings towards us. You want to deny, deny it all. You know, these two have done more damage to the black community than Donald Trump has. I mean, Donald Trump has gave you the STEP Act, freed about 30,000 folks, which I think 20,000 were, were black black folks when they got early release. Uh, when everybody was calling Michael Jackson a pedophile and this and that, the other, nah, he wasn't even going, he wasn't going with that. He wasn't going with that. You know, he, he stuck up, he stuck up for him. Gave Jesse Jackson money for, for his campaign. Uh, what else did he do? Oh, you said Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson. He put him, put them, put her up in his his, his hotel for um, they say six months to protect her from whatever may happen. So, I mean, you cannot like the man, but you know, like I got a saying: Don't lie for me, but don't lie on me. You know, keep it a hundred, keep it a buck. Does he say some outlandish shit? Yeah, but you know what? I grew up in the era where. Eddie Murphy was really big. Andrew Dice Clay, George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Red Fox. See, I didn't grow up in this sensitive ass era where little words hurt y'all feelings and shit. You know, then you say, oh, the Central Park Five. He said that about the Central Park Five. Okay, he said it. But a lot of Democrats at that time said it too. As a matter of fact, it was a Democrat who motherfucking prosecuted their ass. That's a major donor to to the Democratic Party, not. Nah. But y'all still roll with the motherfuckers. So y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta stop being hypocrites. You feel me? You know, stop living in fear because the thing you fear the most, you you you're destined to manifest. And hopefully, we got enough people on our side.
side that ain't afraid to to negate what y'all are trying to create as far as negativity. You feel me? So stop living in fear. Understand that what you fear the most will come to pass. Live in love. 